All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Tony Shen. Today, I'm back with another beginner FL Studio stock plugin tutorial. This is a series where I make beats only using stock plugins and free sounds from all of the internet, so you know you don't gotta blow $500 on Omnisphere just to make a fire beat. Today, we're gonna make a Ski Mask the Slum God slash XXX Tentacion, one of those hard South Florida trap beats with big banging bass tons of energy, mosh pit type beat. I'm really excited about this tutorial because we're not even gonna use any VST instruments for the melodies. In fact, we're gonna use a sample that I like to link in the description below. It's from a, a website called Vinyl Blogspot where they just have tons of random, like obscure vinyl sounds. And I'm actually gonna link it in the description below, but before I get to it, if you haven't done so already, if you wanna be a part of the Tony Shen beat making community, please hit the subscribe button in return as a welcoming gift to the Tony Shen beat making community. I like to give you the very same drum kit that I've been using for all of these tutorials. Tony Shen Slap Pack Volume 1. It has basically the most essential drum sounds that you need and they're already been mixed. So all you got to do is throw them in and you're ready to go. With that being said, <clears throat> let's first start with our sample. Here's a sample we're going to be using. And how I like to work my samples is I like to drag it in here and then control E and that opens up Edison, which allows you to manipulate the sample and then do certain chops and then loop certain things. And it's really convenient. So um, highlight the section we want to sample. I just want to sample the beginning. Three, four, two, two, three, four, two, three, four. Yeah, that sounds like a good loop, right? And to hit this is the loop button. So once you loop that, it, it gives you the ability to go back to the beginning and, and, and see if it loops. And you want it to loop. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three. Basically what we want to do is to find loops is just find a, highlight a certain section that loops all together. And what really helps is to count off in fours. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. So that gives you a perfect loop. And I have more sampling tutorials that I can link in the description if you guys are interested, but I'm not gonna go too in depth into sampling. This is like a pretty simple sample, and the fact that I'm linking this in the description allows you to, to find this. So again, you can just copy the exact same steps that I'm doing. So we're gonna take that and then drag it into our playlist and we're actually gonna look for a different sample. And and let's also look for a different sample as well, like a different section to sample maybe. I like that flute. Yeah, I like that. And now we have two sections that we sampled. And to make this fit the bar, just double click on it and then go to time, right click here and then hit four bars. And that automatically extends it to four bars. Same thing here, double click and right click on time and then set it to four bars. And then if you turn on your metronome, it should be in time. Oh, and also make sure to set this on auto. Otherwise it's gonna change the pitch of your sample when you stretch it to four bars. So make sure the mode is on auto. Yeah, now we have two sections that we could loop and then make into make into a fire beat. Woo! Okay, so first we're going to work with this section and we're going to mix the sample just a little bit. So highlight both of them by going into the channel rack and then uh, just, you know, uh, control shift, hold control shift and drag onto these two channels to highlight them in green and then go to here, select the first channel and then control shift L and that links both tracks into the channel, which is 
you know, really, really <laughs> helpful if you want to mix. So first I want to remove some of the staticky sound, so we're going to EQ that out. You hear that staticky white noise? If you pull this um, band down a little bit, you can get kind of get rid of it. And I want it to sound really gritty. This is a ski mask and X type beat, right? So I want it to sound gritty and just, just sound mean. Like, so we're gonna open up fast distort and we're gonna add a little bit of distortion. So as you can see right now, I'm gonna turn off distortion real quick. Most of the frequencies are happening around the low midsection, right? And what adding distortion does is it adds a little bit more harmonics in like the upper area. So if I turn it on and, and you look at the EQ again, um, you see more activity happening here, right? And then we're gonna to wanna to turn the gain down just a little bit because, right, you wanna keep it at a constant level. So when you turn on the distortion, it, it pushes the gain up, so you wanna push it back down just, just so that you can keep everything constant. Right? And then we're also gonna add a little bit of reverb just to give it a little bit more space. So, Make it wet. Oop, turn up the size up just a little bit. Okay, okay. Now let's work on the drums. So we're gonna open up, pull up a pattern here, and then go to Tony Shen Slap Pack Volume One. Sponsored by Tony Shen Slap Pack Volume One. We use the Cloud Nine snare. Just the perfect snare for this occasion. That's fire. That's hard. Ooh, ooh. Hi hat. Now hi hat. We're 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 gonna do some cool like triplet effects. If you, if you listen to a lot of those type beats, you, you get a lot of like triplet effects leading up to certain areas, and it just it's a good build up, right? So. Da, da, da. Ba, 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 ch, da, 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 ch, da, 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 right? We're gonna do a triplet roll here. So, da, 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 da. To do a triplet, hit, hit the magnet thing here, and then go to one third step. Da, 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 da. So, you just want it to fill up the sixth. So, just, um, Right, like that. And then you just copy this. And then we could do another roll here. And then another trick to do a roll is to um, highlight, like extend the note to like how long you want the roll to be. And then in this case, I just want it to be this long and then highlight it. So control drag to highlight and then hit control U and that automatically articulates the note based on the grid that you divide it by. And then we're gonna add another note here, and then here's what it sounds like. Ooh, I like that. That's hard. And then open hat. We're gonna use the rain hat. And the open hat is going to go on the one. Oh, and by the way, to, to copy and paste, all you have to do is highlight the note and then hold shift and then just drag. And last but not least, we're going to add a rim just to give it more bounce, right? Just copy that. Again, shift drag to copy.
Y'all like that fire thing in the back? I like that fire actually. It adds more, it adds more ambiance and just adds more texture to the sound. So let's pull this fireplace thing up. And then again, throw that in the mixer and just turn it down. That fireplace. Yeah. Now we're gonna use the 808. Use a T Rex 808 because I like that distortion, you know. That so with the 808, obviously, there's a pitch, and the 808 is kind of like an instrument, right? There's like a certain melody that you need to have with the 808 to match the melody that we used in the sample. But right now, I kind of just want to find the swing for the 808 first. So I'm just going to place the notes on the step sequencer, which is this thing, just to find the groove of it first, and then we're going to mess with the melody. So Boom, 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 boom. And then the next step is to kind of prep the 808. In order to prepare your 808, what I mean is just to set it up and tune it, and then also create an envelope. So first step is to tune it, right? So all you have to do is control E, open up the Edison, and then hold, click detect pitch regions, and then it tells you it's a C, right? So we're gonna turn it, tune it, we're gonna right click to C. And then since it's already set to C, we don't really have to touch it, but if the thing said D instead, then we would just right click on the D. And if you don't know what D is, just click this button, it'll, it'll tell you. But since it said C earlier, just right click on C. So that, for, that's step one, tune your 808. The next step is to create an envelope. So the problem with, with the 808 right now, if you heard me when, when I placed all the notes in the step sequencer, is when you, when you press multiple notes close to each other, the 808 kind of leaks into the next note, which makes the entire bass sound kind of muddy. So what you want to do is create an envelope by doing these settings. So turn everything down except for the hold, which you want to turn all the way up, so that when you hold the note down and you release, it doesn't leak into the next note and it sounds really clean. So the next step is to kind of create the bass pattern. So first thing I like to do is extend all the notes all the way. So Control L, and then you know drag the last note, right? And then you might be thinking to yourself, like, I have no idea what key the sample is in. Like, I don't know what melody to do. And it's okay. I don't know what the key is either. And I'm not bothering to even check. All I need are my ears and my intuition and my voice because I need to sing to be able to match the notes. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Honestly, this is probably like the most complicated portion. But once you get this down, you'll be able to apply this to literally any setting. And it'll be a lot easier when you actually work with samples. So what I like to do is first... Uh, pitch my 808 up a few octaves. So to do that, hold control and up. And that pitches your notes up. As you can tell, when I played already, it sounds out of tune, right? So all I have to do is boom. Is hear the, is hear hear the sample and then match the note to the sample. Boom, boom, right? So boom. Sounds like either an A sharp or A. Pitch it up even an octave higher. Sounds more like an A, right? It sounds closer to an A, and it's okay if it's slightly off tune. It kind of adds to the to the vibe of Ski Mask and XXX Tentacion, like just the whole SoundCloud gritty, detuned, you know, like the whole messy vibe. Don don.
you could do this, but what if you pitch it up an octave and just give it a lot more energy, right? Like, so now I'm gonna pitch it back down. That's hard. <laughs> I like that. And then last step is to add a kick. Um, we're gonna use the destructions kick because that's like the hardest kick, just like the most explosive kick that I have in the pack. And that would really work well with this 808. So all you have to do now is for the kick is, is just to keep it simple, right? So just place um, your kick wherever your 808 plays though. The last step is to um, work on the second pattern, and if you if you listen to like the bass notes, like if, if you listen to this part of the sample, it's still the same pattern playing in the back, but just with the flute added. So, so it, what that means is just essentially it's the same key, so you can just shift your 808 over, and it'll still be in key. So all we really have to do is mix it a little bit, right? So let's go to the second here. First, I want to turn it down a little bit. Ooh, that's hard. Ooh. Same thing. Turn down the bass a little bit because we don't want it to interfere with the bass. And just turn down a little bit here. And then add a little bit of distortion. This one you can turn the mix down a little bit. And then copy the fireplace thing here. And now we all we have to do is arrange. That's pretty much the entire beat. Um so split by channel. So that all, what that does is splits the drum pattern into individual patterns. So all I did was right click the pattern here and then click on split by channel and what that does is it separates that pattern into like all the individual tracks so that it's a lot easier for you to arrange so now all we have to do is you know create an intro with the fireplace here maybe have the hi-hat playing that eerie hi-hat oh and also yeah just, just put the drums in the mixer but like i said everything's mixed already so you don't really have to touch it You don't have to start with the kicks, just start with the bass. And then here would be just bass. I can turn this up just a little bit more. And then maybe put this here. And then here we could take out the bass just because you don't want the bass to play all the time, otherwise your ears are gonna just start bleeding. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> hey, hey! All right, now you have it. That's the entire beat. One last step to kind of just make it a little bit more gritty and just make it more like ski mask and XXS Tentacion is um, go to master track and then just, just add a little bit of distortion. Actually not a little bit, a lot. Just add distortion to the master track and that's what just makes it 
10 times more SoundCloud rap, ski mask, you know, gritty, hard, energy, screaming, yelling, you know? Um, listen. Okay, maybe turn the mix knob down a little bit. That's all I have. Um, I'm actually really excited to play this entire beat for you from, from the beginning. But before I demo this beat, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and be part of the Tony Shen community of beat makers where we encourage, inspire, and mentor the new wave of upcoming producers with our videos. So hit the subscribe button and get that free jump kit so you can get started. And here's the beat. Fire, yo. It's literally fire. The fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> 